Okay, here's my next boiler. 20 inch diameter, 42 tall on just the boiler, 82 inches to the top of the stack. Base is 24 square. And that's a new uh, style base with the ash pen built into it and draft door. Good firebox. It's also 12 inches wide now instead of 10 inches wide. Wider mouth on it. And the blower is right here. That's only about halfway open. If you put new wood in, it really uh, gets the fire moving. Really nice steam gauge. And the brass siphon there, that's really nice. The whistle works great. You might want to turn down your volume here. Really nice whistle. Uh, nothing much on the back of it. Engine out is right here. You can put it anywhere. It doesn't have to be there. I mean, you can put a T any place on it and run your engine off of that. Uh, let's see, so the hand pump, this has got a one and a half inch ram on this one. I built the entire uh, part and found an antique pump and rebuilt it. Works great. I'm just taking water out of my little bucket down there. This is a uh, airlock valve right here. So if you've got air in the pump, just want to pump it until it's got water going out of it. Get all the air out of the pump. Sometimes you have to Prime it a little bit, prime the pump. And that pop-off valve is going to go off and again. It's set at 70 pounds. Uh, water in and drain right here on that valve. Water sight glass. Always keep your water up about halfway. And tricocks are right over here. And there are 22 inch and a half copper tubes rolled in. This is my 50th boiler. 5-0. This is all inch and a half pipe, or half inch pipe that is. And so back to this pump for a second. I found this pump, uh, it's uh, off a Hicks uh, engine. And um, just rebuilt it, built a bracket for it, and built the mechanism for it. And it works great. Check valves on it. Anyway, nice boiler. Have it up for sale on eBay.